गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल लेक्चर ऑन सोशल नेटवर्क सो दिस वीक वील बी डिस्कसिंग वीक फाइव असाइनमेंट फ्रॉम प्रीवियस इटरेशन ऑफ दिस कोर्स सो एंड टूमारो एट द सेम टाइम अनदर ट्यूटोरियल विल बी हेल्ड वेर वीक सिक्स क्वेश्चन विल बी डिस्कस्ड सो आई करेंटली स्टार्ट शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन I hope the screen is visible to all. All right. So let's get started. So coming to the first question. Given each individual exists in a two-dimensional grid, which is not an acceptable version, acceptable value of tolerance for an individual. so consider a 2d grid so let's say uh, this is one node this is another okay so consider this middle node so consider this as a random individual so it can at possible have how many neighbors One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In a two D grid, in a two D grid, every individual. have a um, maximum of 8 neighbors and tolerance is number of similar neighbors so now uh, we do not know anything about similarity from the question as of such but we know for sure that this tolerance will always be less than maximum number of neighbors possible which is 8 in a 2d grid so out of this four options 9 3 5 and 6 9 cannot be uh, possible because it's greater than 8 so other three can be possible since we do not know anything about the similarity in the grid we cannot comment whether 3 5 or 6 is right or wrong but we can tell for sure that 9 is cannot be an acceptable value of tolerance so the right answer for this question is option a uh does anyone have a doubt with this question or shall i move on to the next one all right then if you have a doubt you can ask at the end as well so moving on to question 2 in a 2d simulation of shelling's model of segregation where t equal to 8 where t refers to the number of neighbors will we see any red and blue nodes touching each other once equilibrium has been reached okay so consider let us first consider a red node so let's say you have a red node now its uh, tolerance is t equal to 8 which means it's surrounded by eight nodes of the similar type so it's surrounded by eight red nodes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so this was your random individual and it has a tolerance it so it has been surrounded by eight red nodes now consider any other node let's say this one 
so if i consider this one it also has a tolerance of eight so it must also be surrounded by eight red nodes now as you can see it's surrounded by one two three four and five five red nodes so you have three more red nodes so if you take any other let's say this one it also has to be surrounded by eight red nodes so it will have one two three so it basically turns out that the entire grid will consist of only red nodes. Let's say if it is blue, the same thing. Let's say if your grid was blue, one, two, three, four. So this center node must have eight blue neighbors. So because its tolerance is eight, therefore it's surrounded by eight. Consider this one. So it it also has eight tolerance eight, so it must be surrounded by eight neighbors. Con again, consider this one. It must be surrounded by eight, so it must be something like this. But now consider this red node over here. Wait. Now this red node, it's tolerance is one two three four five three equal to five which is less than eight so this such type of arrangement cannot be possible where blue and red touch each other so it will be either be completely red either completely red or completely blue. So <clears throat> will we see any red and blue touching each other? No. So the right answer is no. Uh, does anyone have a doubt so far? All right, then let's proceed to the next question. Coming to question three. So you have a 2D grid of 100 cross 100 node. At max, how many neighbor, how many nodes can have eight neighbors? So let us consider uh, this structure, a 2D grid. So this is one node. Let us try to create a very simple four cross four before answering the hundred cross hundred let us examine the four cross four this node is surrounded by how many neighbors eight so this has eight neighbors this node is surrounded by eight neighbors this node is also surrounded by eight neighbors this node is also surrounded by eight neighbors. But if you take any of the node on the boundary, this one, let's say, it is surrounded by three. This one is surrounded by five nodes. This one is surrounded by five. This one is surrounded by three. This node is surrounded by five. This one by five. This one by three, this one by five, this one by five, this one by three, this one by five, and this one by five. So you see that only interior nodes can have eight neighbors. So in a hundred cross hundred grid, number of interior interior nodes is equal to so you leave leave out the border node so 
if you again consider this structure, so here number of interior nodes is so you eliminate two of the uh, rows. So this top row and bottom row is eliminated. And similarly, you eliminate the leftmost and the rightmost column. So it's basically 4 minus 2 cross 4 minus 2, which is 4. So for 100 cross 100, it's 100 minus 2 cross 100 minus 2, which is 98 cross 98. So these many nodes can have eight neighbors. So the right answer is option C, 98 cross 90. All right, moving on to the next question. In question four, it is said that in the below situation, so you have four situations, and tolerance is given as t equal to 4. That is the number of uh, favorable neighbors, the same type, similar type neighbors. Which center node is not stable? So tolerance is basically similar neighbors. Now, in the which center node? So we'll look into the center node in each case. So we'll look into this, 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 and this. So if you see the center node in the first case, so similar type of neighbor. So it's green in color. So we look for how many green neighbors does it have? So it has one, two, three, four. So here, uh, The uh, tolerance is OK, so it's the uh, minimum number of uh, similar nodes. So. In it's given that T equal to four, so for uh, tolerance for tolerance T equal to four to be satisfied, every center node must have at least four similar nodes. So in the first case, number of similar nodes is equal to four. In the second case, number of similar node is one, two, three. In the third case, number of similar nodes is one, two, three, four. In, in the fourth case, the center node is red in color. So we'll look at only the red. So you have one, two, three, four, again four. So in this case, tolerance is satisfied t equal to 4, so you have four at least four similar neighbors. Here, tolerance is satisfied. Here also tolerance is satisfied. But in option B, the tolerance is not satisfied. So this is the one where it is not stable. So the right answer for question for the question is option B, not stable. Sir? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Sir, please, can you please explain the previous question, sir? Uh, which one? Question number three, sir. Okay, so. In question three, it is asked that in a grid of 100 cross 100 nodes, how many nodes can have eight neighbors? So before solving for 100 cross 100, let us look at a four cross four grid. So you have four cross four 16 nodes. So if you look, only the interior nodes have eight neighbors. So neighbors means left, right, up, down, as well as the diagonal ones. So, but if you consider the boundary node, so every for every node, I have written the number of neighbors it has. So if you see only the interior ones have eight neighbors. For the boundary ones, at the corner ones, it's three. So the corner nodes have only three neighbors. And in on the leftmost column, you have an interior rows, you have five, five. And same goes for the interior of the columns and the last row or the first row, you have five, five. So 
only the interior nodes can have eight neighbors. So in this case, number of interior nodes is basically you consider only the interior rows and the interior columns. So for the considering the interior rows is basically n minus two. And here also you do m minus two. So you leave out the top row and the last row and you leave out the leftmost column and the rightmost column. So that's how you are getting minus two. So if you multiply n be the total number of rows and m be the total number of columns, it's n minus two cross m minus two. So for 100 cross 100, you have 100 minus two cross 100 minus two, which is 98 cross 98. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. OK. Okay, hey, uh, is there any quest problem with uh, question four? If not, I'll move on to question five. Uh, it is clear, sir. Uh, all right. Uh, let us discuss question five. So question five is given in a 10 cross 10 grid generated by a given code. Uh, it's divided into four equal parts, namely A, B, C, D. So they are asking in which section the point 7, 8 will lie. So let us look at the code snippet. So you have n equal to 10. Then you create this grid, nx dot grid 2d graph in n by n. And you draw the graph and show the graph. So it will show a distorted graph here. So till here it will be a distorted graph. But now if you do g dot nodes and <clears throat> you create this dictionary position, of n comma n for n in g nodes so it will draw the graph with the coordinates given so the graph is arranged in a grid like manner when you do this step so how it will look is how the numbering is done is like this so it is 0 1 0 2, sorry 0 0 0 1 and uh, so OK, so. It is uh, just one slight error in my part, so it's assumed that. These the nodes are within this grid, so you have one. The nodes are lies within the grid. So for this node, it's 0, 0. It's 0, 1, 0, 2. 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, and 0, 9. And if you go above, it will. This side, it will be. Uh, again, 0, 0. You have zero, so will be one zero, two zero, three zero, four zero, five zero, six zero, seven zero, eight zero, uh, nine zero. So now we are asked to find where the point seven eight will lie. So uh, um, uh, uh, there is a slight error. Actually, I have varied the X and the Y axis. I have swapped it, so it will just good. Uh, 
it would be uh, 0, 0. So the first coordinate will vary along the x axis. So it will be 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, 0, and 9, 0. And along the y axis, the second coordinate will vary. So it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, and 0, 9. So now we are asked to find where 7, 8 will lie. So 7, 8 would be in the seventh column. So it will go like this and 8. So it will lie somewhere over here. So the right yes, answer. Sir. Yeah, so it will lie in quad quadrant A. So the right answer is quadrant A for this question. All right, so if you have any doubt, you can just type this code and check it yourself. You can see the result. So with you can see each grid with the numbers given. You can just type this code out and you will find 7, 8 will lie in quadrant 8. A. So coming to question 6. In question 6, it asks that a triangle network with at least two positive relations a ship is stable or so you have three options. It's always stable, sometimes stable or never stable. So let's look at a triangle relationship with at least two uh, positive relationships. So you have one case. Let us draw the other case. So in the first case, it can be plus plus and plus. So it means all our friends, all are sharing positive relationship. And in the second case, it could be plus plus and minus. So this one, the first one is stable. So with at least two positive relationship, you get only two scenarios. So this is scenario one and this is scenario two. If you look at the second scenario, what happens is that there are two positive and one minus. So what would happen is this is an unstable network. Why? What would happen is because let's say this person A, B and C. Let us name them. So A is friends with B and A is friends with C, but B and C are not friends with each other. So what would happen? There will be immense pressure on B, A, pressure on A to choose side. So either it either. So what will happen is B will uh, tell A to to be friends with friends with B or become enemies. Same applies for or C as well. So one of these two pluses will eventually turn into a minus. So this why this is the reason this will not be a, a 
stable network but the first one is all positive so there is no pressure on anyone it's a happy network so in this case you have two scenarios where one is stable and one is unstable so the right answer is sometimes here a triangle network with at least two positive relationships is sometimes stable it's not always stable because you see scenario two is not a stable scenario and never stable because scenario one is a stable scenario. So either of the two can happen. So the right answer is sometimes. Okay. Moving on to quest next question, uh, question seven. So which social belief does the following stability conversion denote? So you have uh, two triangular networks, ABC. So in first case, you have uh, a minus, a minus, and a minus. So all three are enemies with each other. And then you see that one of the edges between A and B has converted to plus. They share a positive relationship, and the other two remains minus as well. So what is this uh, social belief it denotes is that if you look at uh, C, C is enemy of A. Uh, okay, so let us write it this way A is enemy of uh, C. And initially, uh, and now it converted to A is friend of B. So it happens what an enemy's enemy. So this is C's enemy, C's enemy's enemy. So and so C's enemy is A who becomes a friend which is b so the right option is option c an enemy's enemy is a friend uh, any doubt no doubt sir uh, all right okay moving on <clears throat> to question eight <clears throat> so question 8, 9, and 10 would be related. So if a country A is at war with country B, let's say a certain country X has a good relationship with both A and B, what will be a stable situation for country X? So first let us draw the diagram, then it will be clear. So you have A, you have B. A and B are at war, so it's a negative relationship. And now let us consider X, country X. It is saying that X has a positive relationship, good relationship with A, and good relationship with B as well. So what will be a stable situation for country X? So stable, like I mentioned before, so this thing is unstable because too much pressure on too much pressure on x so a will tell x to become enemies with b and remain in a good relationship with a and b will do the same it will ask x to forget a and remain friends with b so X has to either choose between A and B. X has to choose between A and B. So the correct answer would, so one of these pluses will change to minus. So, so the, there can be two possible answers over here. So A and so if you look at option C, A and X remains positive, 
but B and X has turned negative. So this is one stable situation. Or A and X cuts off ties with X, but remains friends with B. So both C and D can be a uh, correct answer for this question. However, if you look at option B and option C, so the option B is saying that A and X remains friends and B and X also remains friends, which is unstable because it would lead to too much pressure on X. And similarly, if it's uh, option A, if both are negative, so A is uh, A and X also turns negative, B and X also turn. This is also uh, not a stable situation as it will lead to a phenomenon called enemies, enemy is friend. Enemy becomes friend. So either of C or D, both are correct. So it's not gears. just from the question. You can't tell which one is correct. So uh, both of them are correct in option uh, C and between option C and D. Now coming to question nine. So you have another fourth country in the loop. So country Y is in the same situation as country X. So country X it, as explained in the previous question. So if you remember X was in good relationship with both A and B and now country Y is also in the same situation. It's in good relationship with both A and B. And Y is also on good terms with X. Now, given that X chooses to maintain positive relationships with A, so it is told, like I said, this is an unstable, but in this case, it is mentioned that X turns this relationship between X and B into negative. Then, uh, so, so the relationship between X and B changes from plus to minus, then Due to how many resulting unstable triangles will Y be unstable? So this is this will be better understand if we draw the diagram once again. So let us draw. Okay. So you have A, B, Y and X. So let us draw the four relationships. So X and B have turned negative as given because Y chooses to maintain positive relationship with A. And A and B was already negative. X and Y is positive and A Y is positive. B Y is positive. Now due to how many resulting unstable triangles will Y be unstable? So how many uh, unstable triangles are there? Let us try to identify. Okay. Uh, so how many unstable triangles are there? So uh, before going into that, so uh, all time, let us look at all possible uh, config just to recap. So if you have a, a triangular network, so can have oh um this The first one is all positive. Second one is two positive, one negative. Third one is one positive, two negatives. And fourth one is all negatives. Now this one is stable. This one is unstable because it will lead to pressure on one of the 
the person who is friends with both the two enemies. So unstable. In the third one, this is stable because enemy's enemy is a friend. And the fourth one, again, it won't remain uh, stable because one of them would convert to a uh, positive relationship to again demonstrate the phenomenon of enemy's enemy becoming a friend. So this is unstable. So now we have to find out how many unstable triangles are there in this uh, A, B, X and Y uh, network. So coming to the A, B, X and Y network. So if you look uh, at the various triangles, so uh, this triangle of X, Y, and B. So if you see in this highlighted triangle, so if you see, so there are two plus and one minus. So it's something like this is two. So it is an unstable. So triangle X, Y, B unstable. If you look at another triangle, okay, this one, A, Y, and B. So here also there are two positive, one negative. So it's again like situation two over here. So triangle A, Y, be unstable and leaving these two out triangle x a b has become stable because x chose a so a x b has stable and triangle a y x this is also stable because all our friends. So out of all the four possible triangles that triangular networks that you can pick out. So only uh, two are stable, two are unstable. So why due to how many resulting unstable triangles will Y be unstable is two. So these are the resulting triangles unstable triangle which makes uh, this network unstable so y also has to uh, <clears throat> remove one of this change one of this relationship so as to make bring this bring back stability to this network coming to uh, question 10 so again it's connected to 8 and 9 since Y is friends with all countries, how many friendships will Y need to break? So we'll have to check how many friendships Y need to break so that a stable system is uh, achieved. So by breaking a friendship, it is meant that a positive is turned to a negative or, or uh, a negative to a positive. So let us uh, check the network once again. So you have X, A, B, and Y. X, A, B, and Y. Now, between A and X, it's positive. B and X, it's negative. Uh, between A, Y and B, Y, it's positive. Between A, X, X and Y, it's positive. And between A and B, it's negative. Now, if we look, now we want to find out how many uh, uh, friendships uh, do, do Y have to break. So let us identify the unstable triangles first. 
so this was one unstable triangle and the other unstable triangle was x y and b so this is the other unstable triangle so this is one unstable triangle and this is another unstable triangle so now we'll have to find out which of this edges minimum number of edges so minimum friendship that y need to break so if you look at this friendship so y friendships of y so it is a y it is b y and x y so let us look at this cases one by one so if a y is broken so if a y is broken case one case one then this network x uh, a y this one is plus 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 but now this a y has become uh, minus but it is unstable because there are two plus and one minus so lots of pressure on x so one of this either a x or a x y will have to change but on, right now we are considering only y is the one who is changing breaking friendship so a and x is unaffected so to make this triangle a x y stable so x and y also has to uh, turn their relationship into a negative one so only then it will so in this case you have two breaks so y has to break friendship with a and friendship with x and what would be the resulting relationship so you have b you have plus this one is minus and and this one is also minus so if you look at uh, x y b it has one plus and two negative which is stable and all the triangles are also stable if you can check now let us move on to case two we have one case two is where y severs its relationship with b so you have it was plus plus and minus which is unstable so what what and this side it was plus so what y does is it turns this plus between y and b into a minus now if you see this triangle x y b it has one plus and two minus so that triangle is stable and a y b that is also stable because one plus and two minus and triangle a x y has two plus uh, this is also plus so it has three plus so all the triangles are stable so basically one break and that is with b uh, coming to case three in case three again uh, y severs its relationship with x so this is x a y b so this was initially plus plus this is minus this one is plus this one is minus 
and so initially x and y was plus but now y decides to change this plus into a minus so in which case if you look at triangle a x y so you look at triangle a x and y it has two plus and one minus so which is an unstable situation so to make this stable y also needs to break one other friendship that is with a so if y breaks friendship with a then it becomes stable. so y has to break two friendships so two breaks a and x so and the resulting triangle if you can check all of them are stable so in the case one you had two breaks case two one break and case three again two breaks so if y uh, turns breaks the friendship with any of a or x it has to break the friendship with the other as well so the minimum is if it breaks friendship with B. So since Y is friends with all country, how many minimum friendship will Y need to break? So basically if it uh, breaks friendship with B, then the entire uh, network is stable. So right answer is option D. So uh, that brings us to the end of our 10 questions so if you have any doubt you can ask you have any doubt with uh, previous questions as well you can ask now Uh, all right, if no one has any questions, then we can close the session for today. <clears throat> someone you, else? Sir, okay. can you please upload this uh, uh, sheet, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'll upload it. You can check it on the course web page. There will ah, be a okay. spreadsheet with the link to the PDF of this sheet. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, so uh, thank you everyone for coming to this session. We'll uh, meet again next week. So tomorrow session will cover week six questions and again we'll cover week six question in the upcoming Monday and uh, in the upcoming Tuesday class we'll cover week seven questions. So uh, thanks for joining and all the best for your course. So if you don't have any doubts, you can start leaving.